In crypto, there is a small group of traders that makes a lot of money, but very few people know about them. I'm talking of traders who do arbitrage and liquidations. And the secret weapon is a very powerful technique called flash loan. Equalizer Finance is the first DeFi project 100% focused on flash loans. In this video, I'm going to explain what is a flash loan, how you can use them to make money, and how to use Equalizer Finance. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Equalizer Finance. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. When you borrow money from your bank, you have to prove your credit worthiness. If the bank doesn't trust that you have the capacity to reimburse the loan, they won't lend you money. In DeFi, it's also possible to have loans. However, it's not easy to verify your credit worthiness in a smart contract. That's why for lending protocols in DeFi, we use a system of collateral. If you want to borrow money, you have to provide an even greater amount as a collateral. If you don't reimburse the loan, your collateral will be seized. Have you heard the sentence, we lend money only to the rich? That's exactly what's happening for DeFi lending protocols. If you don't already have money for your collateral, you cannot borrow money. Not great. But in DeFi, we can be creative and invent solutions that wouldn't be possible in traditional finance, like flash loans. A flash loan is a way to borrow a lot of money on the blockchain without providing any collateral. The trick is that you have to reimburse this loan instantly. Here is how it works. First, you borrow money from a flash loan provider. Then you can use this money in whatever way you want. And after, in the same transaction, you have to reimburse the money lent to you plus a small fee. If you don't reimburse the money, the whole transaction fails. There is no way you can cheat the system and steal the money. But why would you use a flash loan? The most typical use case of a flash loan is for arbitrage. With an arbitrage, you can benefit from a small price difference between two different exchanges. For example, if Ether is worth $3,000 on Uniswap and $3,100 on SushiSwap, you can buy Ether on Uniswap and sell it on SushiSwap and make a $100 profit. But what if you can buy 10 times more Ether? Now you will make a profit of $1,000. And the more Ether you buy, the more profit you make. You are limited by your capital unless you have access to a flash loan. In this case, you can borrow millions of dollars, use them to do your arbitrage and make a very decent profit. Is this too good to be true? These opportunities do exist, but nobody says it's easy. Usually these small price differences are monitored and exploited in real time by other traders and you have to be the first one to do the arbitrage, for example, by using an automated script. But this is outside the scope of this video. There are other ways you can make money with flash loan like liquidations and you also have purely utilitarian use cases like swapping your collateral. Now you understand what is a flash loan and how you can make money with it and next I'm going to introduce Equalizer Finance, a new DeFi project focused on flash loans. There are already a few DeFi projects that offer flash loans, but for all of them, flash loans is just a secondary feature. Equalizer Finance is the first DeFi project which is 100% dedicated to flash loans. The monthly volume of flash loan is $700 million and Equalizer Finance wants to become the leader in this market. Equalizer Finance is currently deployed on Ethereum and in their roadmap, they plan to deploy to Binance Smart Chain this year as well. In 2022, they will expand to other chains as well. The smart contracts of Equalizer Finance have been audited by Certic, which is a famous security company company in the crypto space. Equalizer Finance plans to offer the lowest fees in the market for flash loans as well as the lowest gas fees. Equalizer Finance also plans to offer flash loans for many different tokens, whereas for existing flash loan providers, many of them are very limited in terms of token choice. Another feature unique to Equalizer Finance is that they are going to guarantee a minimum liquidity for the flash loans, which is very useful for traders who want to do arbitrage. They have a public team and the team members are very experienced in business, marketing and also on the technical side. Now let's dive a bit more into the details of Equalizer Finance. Equalizer Finance is a flash loan marketplace. They have vaults in which lenders can provide liquidity for different tokens. Borrowers can use the liquidity in these vaults to borrow tokens in the context of a flash loan. Borrowers will pay a fee and part of this fee will be paid 
to lender of the flash loan. The other part of the fee will go to the treasury of the protocol. These fees are dynamic and determined by an algorithm that considers market forces. Equalizer Finance also has a governance token called EQZ. Besides voting for the protocol evolution, EQZ can also be used to vote for the parameters of the protocol like the flash loan fees, as well as how to use the treasury of the protocol. So that's it for the introduction of Equalizer Finance. Next, I'm going to show you how to use it. So in this section, I'm going to show you how you can use the app of Equalizer Finance to provide liquidity to their flash loan vault. So first you have to go to their website and then you go in launch app. And then you will see a pop up to connect MetaMask to the app. For now, you can use the app for Ethereum, but in the future, you will have access to other network as well. And in this table, you can see the different vaults that are available. So you can be a liquidity provider of any of these vaults. So for example, if you want to provide liquidity to the USDC vault, you click on this and to provide liquidity, you scroll down and here you select deposit. So first you will have to enable deposit. So you will see the pop-up of MetaMask and you will have to confirm a first transaction. And once you have enabled the deposit, you scroll down and you input how much you want to deposit and you click on submit and you will see the confirmation pop-up of MetaMask. And in exchange, you will get some LP token. And in the future, when you want to withdraw your LP token and get back your initial USDC plus the fee you collected, you have to select withdraw. So this was for providing liquidity to Equalizer Finance. And next, I'm going to show you a couple of other tools that you can use you can use their bridge and this is to transfer equity token between ethereum and the binance smart chain and the last thing i want to show you is the staking tool so let's scroll down and if you are a liquidity provider for the equity ethereum pool on uniswap or on the equity BNB pool on PancakeSwap on Binance Smart Chain, you can stake your LP token and do some yield farming. So at the moment, these two pools are closed, but in the future, they're going to open some others. All right, so that's it for the user-facing part of Equalizer Finance. And then I'm going to show you how you can borrow a flash loan on Equalizer Finance by using Solidity. So in this section, I'm going to show you how you can borrow token with a flash loan of Equalizer Finance. For the flash loan, Equalizer Finance uses EIP 3156, which is a standard for flash loan. And you can find the documentation for EIP 3156 at this URL. And to make it easier, I created some example code in the GitHub repo of the blogs. So this is a trough project. We go in contracts, we go in flash loan borrower, and you will need to deploy this smart contract to use a flash loan with Equalizer Finance. So let's scroll down. I'm going to explain how it works. So it all starts with this function. So when you want to start your flash loan, you are going to call this function initiate flash loan and here we're going to pass the address of the flash loan provider of equalizer finance so that's another smart contract that is deployed by equalizer finance that's this smart contract that will provide you the flash loan then the address of the token that you want to borrow then the amount that you want to borrow and data so this is some arbitrary data that you can use for later use but just to make it simple, you can just pass an empty bytes argument to get started. And so here in the function, what we do is that we create a pointer to the flash loan provider of Equalizer Finance. We call the flash loan function and we provide a different argument necessary. So we provide a pointer to the smart contract that will receive the flash loan. So that's the same smart contract. This is our smart contract here, flash loan borrower. Then we forward the other argument, the address of the token, the amount, and the data bytes argument. And after that, the flash loan provider of Equalize Finance is going to call back our smart contract and call the on flash loan function. 
and it's going to pass a couple of arguments so initiator so that's going to be the address of our own smart contract this is actually possible to initiate the flash loan from another address then a token amount and the fee that we need to pay for the flash loan as well as the data argument that we pass initially and so first we are going to create a pointer to the ERC20 token that we borrow we are going to approve the flash on provider of equalizer finance to spend it for the maximum amount that you can represent in solidity and this will allow us to repay the flash loan plus the fee then you can use the flash loan in however way you want so for example you can do an arbitrage you can do a liquidation but this is outside the scope of this tutorial and after you just return this value to the flash on provider so that it knows that everything went fine and it will automatically move the token back to its address as well as the fees you don't have to do this yourself and you are left with and hopefully at this point you are left with some profits on your smart contract and so that's why i created another function to withdraw this profit so here we're going to do some access control to protect our profit and we're going to transfer the profit to our own address so i told you that they follow eip 3156 and if you want more detail you can read the code of their flash loan provider so you go in the github organization of equalizer finance you go in this repo equalizer smart contract v1 contracts you go to flash loan provider so this is the smart contract that will provide you the flash loan and the function that is interesting here this is the flash loan function and here at some point you can see that they are calling the on flash loan function on our smart contract in the documentation of equalizer you can also find the addresses for the different smart contracts so currently they have a deployment for ethereum mainnet and rinkby if you scroll down you will see the different addresses and the smart contract that interests us is the flash loan provider here and you can find this contract on etherscan and if you go in the contract tab you can inspect the deployed code so this is the same as the one you see on github and be aware that technically it's also possible to trigger the flash loan by using the right contract feature of etherscan so here you can call the flash loan function and pass it the different parameter and so here for the receiver address you will need to pass the address of our flash loan borrower but i don't really see the point of doing it from the interface of etherscan most likely if you want to do arbitrage on liquidation you will have a script that you run on a server and that automatically trigger the flash loan by calling our initiate flash loan function here so now you know what is a flash loan and how you can get one by using the equalizer finance protocol if you want to make some money on your tokens you can provide liquidity in the vault of equalizer finance and earn some flash loan fees and if you want to experiment with flash loans as a user you can register for the flash loan contest of equalizer finance by going to the flash loan contest channel in the discord server of equalizer finance i put the link in the description thanks for watching and have a good day